Danat, 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 Today, we are going to be making shark teeth. I'm working on an Aquaman cosplay where I have a hook for a hand, and I should just go ahead and put the link in the description for that video, which should be posted at some time. Uh, if I post this before that, then clearly that won't be a thing. Anyway, uh, we're going to be baking these in the oven, okay? Um, so let's get started. This is, I got at Walmart. It's oven baked clay for 97 cents. I got three of these. I ended up only needing two to make each one of these shark teeth. Um, they're about two inches in length. And I'll post the picture up here. This is the image of the shark tooth that I was kind of, you know, basing my design off of, which had a couple of lines and then dots. And then I, all I used was a paper clip. I don't really have much, so I just used a paper clip to make these lines and dots. It's fairly simple. Oh, by the way, this clay already has these perforations in it. So like less than one of these can make a tooth. So what I did was is I would take a little bit off of here and then a little bit off the bottom, put it on the top because the upper part of the tooth is fatter and brought my water with me because with clay, it's easier to mold if it's more moist. Sorry about the use of the word moist. But I looked at the picture of the shark tooth and it kind of has this V thing going for it. And then it comes down to a point. It's real simple. Like you can see I just started molding this and it's already looking like those shark teeth. And I I've done like three things. In the picture, I saw that it had a couple of indentations kind of right here, so I just impressed that with my thumb. And then you want to make sure that all these ends are square, but then also have a little bit more length to it, kind of, so I kind of stretch that out. Make this come down to a point. And with my paper clip, which I don't have, it's uh, left in the other room, but I, I'll go grab that. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the paper clip. So I have my paper clip, so I'm making the shark tooth, kind of flattening it out, making the, doesn't have to come to an exact point, they're, they're, you know, for shark teeth, they're actually not that pointy, at least for the big ones. You kind of give it this V, and then these lines right here, I take the paper clip, impress there, there, kind of follow the tooth there there it's kinda a little bit deeper right here but you can press with, and then kinda do that number already right I've, I've barely been working on this thing it's already a tooth I'm just making this for you that's gonna be the the finished tooth but you see we all, it doesn't take much the top of the teeth, I noticed they kind of have these dots in them. So literally all I did was this. And I won't completely work on this the whole time to drag this video out. But, do like that, flatten that out a little bit. Kind of press this. Anyway, this isn't going to be a finished tooth, but that already kind of looks like the tooth. Not as good as those because I spent a little bit more time on those. So what we do is, is I got a little bit of this copper wire, also from Walmart. Very thin, very easy to cut. I just use these if you have some wire cutters or whatever. Boom, snip. You don't need much of it. Boom, snip. You make yourself a little loop here which can be longer or shorter twist okay I just put that into the top of the tooth which some of those are a little bit longer than this one so I think if anything they're if they're a little bit longer they're gonna help with like the strength of the tooth you know kinda like whenever you're you're laying concrete and you put down rebar 
So if that's going through the tooth, it's just going to be a little bit stronger. But either way, I figure once it bakes, it'll be in there pretty good. So these are what our finished teeth look like. I'm actually pretty happy with the way that these turned out. And now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the oven. Uh, a lot of the times, whenever you get these, these clay packages, they um, have like... Uh, a temperature that you should bake them at. If you read here, it does have a little temperature with a little oven next to it. If it'll ever focus. Hey. Well, anyway, it says 275, 15 minutes per uh, one fourth inch. Pretty much the temperature that is like widely used is anywhere from, uh, I was looking it up, 215 to 265. So I've preheated the oven to uh, 260 degrees. So I'm gonna put these on, uh, I'm gonna put some foil on a pan, put these on a pan and put them in the oven for about, I'll check them at 25 minutes. Now we're just gonna take our shark teeth here. There you go, you bake now. I'll see you in 25-ish minutes. So those teeth are in the oven, but I almost forgot to tell you, I noticed whenever they weren't on this tooth, Alright, so you gave it these two lines here, alright, on each side, but then you kind of give it these little, these little grooves right here, and you might have to go back over these little lines, because you don't want these to overlap those, you kind of want to just make it look like it's, it's like a texture, it's a rough part of the tooth, you know what I'm saying, do that number, there we go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now you looking like a tooth, but yeah, those little those little lines are uh, are key. I just want to let you know before we go and pull those other teeth out of the oven. So these are the teeth, and uh, they came out of the oven. They're a lot harder, and uh, I'm gonna make a necklace out of them. I got some of this. Uh, there we go. I got some of this rope, and I'm gonna attach them to this and try to make something neat. So for my cosplay, this is what I came up with. We got us some hemp rope and then uh, the shark teeth. And I just used that same wire that we uh, used for the, the hoops to uh, connect it to the rope. So I hope you, uh, you enjoyed and you learned something maybe, possibly. I don't know. Until next time, bag our finish and stuff. Mm -hmm.